concept we're going to talk about today is called the pension maximizer. And this is the ideal concept to help people that uh, have a pension come into a maximizer, people that have a pension coming to them, exactly how they can max out their pension. In my experience, whether it's a uh, county job, a city job, a federal government job, maybe it's uh, aerospace, maybe it's uh, MTA, maybe it's Southern California Edison, somebody that's got a pension coming to them. Generally speaking, all the pensions have a series of three, four, five choices and they're all very similar. So I'm gonna give you sort of a big picture, 20,000 foot view level of what their choices look like. And then once you understand their, what their choices look like, we can help the client in advance to choose the right one. So the first option is usually something like this, depending obviously on years of service, how old they are, what their salary is, but I'm just gonna put some generic numbers and show the relationship between these numbers to help us understand the concept. So option number one, option number one is $4,200 a month is the pension and they get that pension for life from the time that they retire and when they die, their spouse gets nothing. Okay, so that's option number one. Option number two, generally speaking, works like this. It's less money, it's $3,400 a month and when they die, their spouse gets 50% of that or $1,700 a month. Option number three, the client gets $2,800 a month, and when they die, their spouse gets 100% of that, or $2,800 a month. And then option four is they get, uh, I don't know, some $542,000, and they can do whatever they want with it, but no monthly income. So typically, you're gonna have three, four, sometimes five options, and they, they work similar to this. Now, everybody wants this option. They want the highest income so that they can have the best possible retirement. The problem with choosing this option is if they pass away and their spouse gets nothing, their spouse is host, so they can't do that. The one time I see clients actually choosing this is when the husband and wife both work for the city or the county or someplace, and so they go, okay, honey, you max out your pension, I'll max out our, my pension, and when we pass away, it's not that big of a deal because both of us have our own pension. But if that's not the case, most people can't even consider this when they have a spouse, so they're choosing between option number two, where their spouse gets half of the money when they die, or option number three, when their spouse gets 100%, but they're choosing significantly less per month. So, question I have is, if you choose, let's say, option number two, and your spouse dies before you do, and then you die, who gets this $1,700 a month? Nobody. nobody. Well, at least nobody you know. Who keeps the money? The, uh, the pension the, company, right? Pension company. So nobody you know keeps the money. Same way over here. If your spouse dies before you, and then you pass away, who gets all that money? So you chose less money for the benefit of your spouse, but if your spouse passes away first, then there's no benefit that you receive. Let me ask you this. Let's say you did decided not to choose this. Let's say you decided to choose this and you have 20 years of fantastic retirement, you and your spouse. And 20 years into your retirement, you pass away. And so then your spouse begins collecting $1,700 a month, but six months later, she passes away. Well, if she only collected this for six months, wouldn't it have been better for you to have chosen this for 20 years? Absolutely. As opposed to getting this for 20 years and then she only gets that for six months. But who knows? But who knows? So let me ask you this. Just generically speaking, in the world of financial services, you don't have to be an expert to answer the question. When one person dies and another person gets money when that person dies, what do they call that in financial services? No, good answer, good guess. What products provide oh. income for somebody when somebody dies? Life insurance. Life insurance. So here's in effect what's happening. They don't call it this, but here's what in effect is happening with the pensions company. They're taking out basically, a, they're insuring your life. And if something happens to you, your spouse gets this income. But let me ask you this, if they're doing this, who owns the insurance policy, you or them? Them, the pension they company. do. Let me ask you this. Who allows you to choose the beneficiaries, you or them? them? So let me ask you this. If there was a way that a client could choose the maximum income, $4,200 a month, and when they died, instead of zero, their spouse got 100% of this income or $4,200 a month, 
would anybody ever choose this one or ever choose this one? Absolutely not. They never would, would they? they would. So how do we do this? We do this by providing a permanent life insurance policy that at this owner's death is gonna provide $4,200 a month of income. And so by understanding how this works, you can create this income stream where people can choose this. Now it's gonna cost them, who knows, 150, 200, 300, 400 dollars a month to buy this permanent policy depending on their age and insurability. But based on the way option one pays them and option two pays them and option three pays them, they're paying for the policy already by choosing less income in retirement. Wouldn't you choose to pay for it up front and get the maximum income? By the way, what happens in this case if you if your spouse dies before you, then you die? What happens to this money? It's gone. Well, no, if, if, well, if you choose the pension maximizer, you own the insurance policy, your kids get it, your church, you choose the beneficiary. Yeah. Or you you live for 20 years, six months later, you uh, 20 years later, you pass away, six months later, your spouse passes away. And the remainder of this, who gets? Your children, your beneficiaries, your church, charitable institution. So you're in control. Yeah. And this money doesn't go back to somebody you don't know. So a pension maximizer puts you in control. It's usually funded using a GIUL policy or sometimes a UL, some sort of permanent policy. Because if you fund it with a term, well, if the person lives beyond the term, then you really don't win the game. Yeah. Sometimes what you'll oftentimes see is somebody's, uh, let's say, 42 years old. They're set up to have all the points to get a fully funded pension at 55, and they're already putting away $400 a month or more into a separate 401k mm -hmm. or 457. That's very common. Okay. Well, if you take some of this money that they're already saving and put it in somewhere, something, a product like this, you can create this pension maximizer where they can choose the top. Or conversely, let them put, so if we just take 200 of this away and put it over here, we can create this bigger income stream both for them and their beneficiary. Does that make sense? Absolutely. If we choose not to move it here, if we just leave the extra 200 here, well, 200 a year times 12 months is 2,400 bucks times 13 more years, what's 2,400 bucks times 13 more years? That's uh, 24,000, it's about 30,000 and change. Mm -hmm. We'll round it up and call it $31,000. So at 55, what's gonna make a bigger difference to them? An extra $31,000 in their 401k or being able to choose the bigger in income distribution of the two and guaranteeing that income for their spouse or their beneficiaries long-term. Absolutely the guarantee all day long and twice on Sunday. Once you get into a company that has a pension and they understand how the pension maximizer concept works, it's a sl it's like a slam dunk. It's very, very easy for them to see and understand and take advantage of. ING, I think, has the best software available where you can literally take the person who's gonna receive a pension, you can put in their specific pension amounts, you can put in their specific age and it'll run side by side in illustration, one neat tidy illustration of how the income will work as you change it and how big of a policy to create and how to fund it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think Pack Life has one as well, but ING has the best one I've seen before. So hopefully that helps. Any questions, give us a call.